running a video game store costs a lot per month. So in this video, I'm gonna break it down to you what it costs me to run game bound video games. Working at the game store, I get people ask me all the time, uh, you know, how much it costs to run the game store? Why did you open a game store? Is it profitable? Is it worth it? But in this video, I just wanna break down my costs to run uh, game bound video games. Cause I feel like that's just, just that's, that's something that everybody wants to know in this hobby because in their mind, you know, um, sometime in their collecting life, they think, they thought about it. They're like, hey, I, maybe I can open a game store. Uh, but then they never got into it. They never, they never try because uh, they don't know. They don't know what's, what's the cost. And if you look at YouTube right now, uh, look up the any video. Nobody talks about it. Nobody really breaks it down, uh, you know, to the numbers of how much it costs them. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll let you guys know how much it costs for me. Let's start with the rent. That's probably one of your biggest costs uh, for game bound video games. Uh, the basically the base cost with triple net uh, is two thousand two hundred sixty two, and that actually changed from year to year based on an inflation that I signed initially with the landlord, and it's around two to three percent. So every year you're gonna see a two percent, two to three percent jump on your base uh, rent plus triple net. So keep that in mind, but for this year here is 2,262. So that's rent. Next, we got staff. So hiring staff is actually this, you know, another big expense that uh, any any retail shop and also our game store, we have two full two staff. If, if I were to, you know, do full time, 40 hours, uh, plus the, the, the ADP, which is the, the company that I do my payroll through, um, you know, they charge a fee every time I process uh, a paycheck and I do it bi-weekly. Uh, and then you also have to pay employees tax. So all of that for my 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 game store, if they were two, um, you know, they were full-time, two staff, that would be $5,698.04. And that's just for staffing only. Now, the third uh, thing that would cost a lot is basically your buy-in. Our inventory is actually coming from people that brings in games to us. So that portion alone, it depends from month to month, but I broke it down and divide by 12 uh, on a yearly basis, divide by 12. Uh, averaging uh, the amount that we pay, this is cash only, not including the cre uh, trade-in credits, but it costs uh, us around 2600 a month just for you know paying out cash for those games that people bring next in. we have the pos system now, now that system yes it, it costs quite a bit and and this is not including you know the the initial cost this is just the monthly subscription and also at the same time the transaction fee that we have to pay for our pos system but uh a total uh is about 930 dollars that's include processing fee uh price charting uh subscription uh, MS Access subscription, uh, and then also the, I guess, the customer service support that they provide. Next, we have the uh, internet and the phone system. So uh, we go through Comcast. It's actually quite a bit, to be honest with you. I might need to look into that. Uh, I did sign a three-year contract, and it's actually coming up. So I might be changing that, but it costs us for phone and internet is $155 a month. Now, this is probably one of the most important thing about owning a retail shop is the liability portion and also the, the business uh, property that you have, which is all your inventory, your games and everything. So this is the insurance uh, aspect of, um, of, the, of the store. And for the business owner policy, which consists of the general liability and also the business, per, uh, business property, um, plus my business auto, which I have a van that I use under the business, uh, so that I can, you know, go to convention, uh, pick up video games and stuff like that. But that total insurance, uh, totals $213 and 66 cents. And I believe this is probably one of the most important thing when it comes to owning a business or a video game shop, you got to have insurance. Uh, this is one of the things you cannot go cheap uh, marketing, okay. but when it comes to uh, bringing traffic in. I do a lot of, you know, uh, advertising on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Google, uh, all those stuff. And those actually cost money. Uh, and on a monthly basis, I spent around $370 just to do those uh, sponsor ads or advertisement and, or, or all those right there. So uh, I believe it's a good return. Uh, and I track every time a customer comes in that, I, that, that we don't recognize we actually have a tracker. We ask them, hey, how did you find us? Where you, 
where'd you heard about us and stuff like that. And depending on where they, they answer, that's when we mark it and tally down where is it coming from. And I based on that to, to see which marketing method is the best way for me to allocate my, my budget. Now, convention, that's the other thing. I love convention. Now, I, I know that I only work maybe a, a, maybe at max a day out of the week at the game store. The rest is just my staff. Um, but when it comes to convention, I make sure I am there. I love convention. So a year we do like around three, uh, three or four, depending. But since the pandemic, it uh, hasn't been much. So therefore, right now, I think this year we'll be doing three convention. And uh, I just kind of add it all together. Uh, that comes out to about like 300 bucks a, a month, basically cost. Uh, that's include like the conventions, the hotel, the gas, the employees that come in with me. So it's around 300 bucks a, a, a month. Um, now, uh, our shop is, is not big. Uh, it's about a thousand square uh, footage. So we don't have a lot of storage back there. We only have a little tiny spot. So I do have a little storage that I, I, uh, I, I rent. Uh, for the excess inventory or inventory or, or things that I just not able to fit in the store. And that cost me on a monthly basis of uh, $274, um, which is not bad. It's, it's pretty big space, I would say, for that kind of price. Um, and then next, we have supplies. You know, on the uh, monthly basis, we, we have to buy the printer, uh, you know, uh, uh, papers. And uh, there's lighting, there's cleanups. There, there's the bags, snacks, all those things. Cost about 50 bucks. Uh, and then maintenance and repair costs about $63.33. Uh, and that's, you know, like the toiletries and the, the cleaning supplies and stuff like that. We got the banking and the credit card fee. So you have a, you gotta have a business uh, banking account where sometimes they charge a maintenance fees. Uh, and then also I do get a separate credit card for the business with the with an annual cost of a hundred dollar um and that in total is, you know monthly cost about 28 dollars and 33 cents not much um but it's just a best way a good way for for my business to separate you know what is business and what is personal a good uh, cpa that's the thing about running a business you cannot go cheap on a c a good cpa okay a, a a person that will take care of your taxes will keep it organized will find that deduction uh i would say that uh, this is the other most important thing uh, about protecting your business is find that CPA, talk to them about how you can structure your business entity. I, use, I, I went with an LLC uh, and then do a S Corp. They help you manage your books, your taxes, uh, so you won't be late or penalized or get audited. So my CPA, I pay around $60 a month and um, I think is well worth it. Now, one more cost that will protect your business from loss is having a good alarm system. So I use a combination of alarm. Right now I'm using Brinks for the alarm central system, but I also use Ring, the Ring, and I have cameras pretty much every angle in the store where I can capture everything. I can hear through it, I can talk to it, I can record to it. There's motion sensor, there's uh, pretty much everything. So I pay, the, I pay around uh, $57, so not much. Uh, this is another one of those big ex uh, expense, but it's one of those that uh, as a business owner, you've got to have the discipline to do so. And that is uh, saving for the end of the year income tax. Now, a lot, you know, a lot of uh, small businesses, uh, sometimes when they go into a business, they don't think about that. They don't think about the taxes that they pay at the end of the year. And at the end of the year, they don't have that money, you know, and, and it could be, uh, 10, 15, or 20,000, depending on how much you make that year. Um, but uh, for my store, what I do is I put out 10 to 15% uh, on a monthly basis, so then I can accumulate throughout the 12 months at the end of the year when we file tax, I have that money in that saving so that I can go ahead and pay taxes. Um, now, yeah, so that's, that's just one of the things that you've gotta have discipline for when you're owning a, a small business, when you're self-employed. If you don't have that discipline at the end of the year, that's what's gonna hurt you. And that's um, that's probably one of the highest reason why small business go out of business because they're not able to pay those taxes. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's $3,000 for for my store. That's, that's, that's how much I put right now on a, a monthly um, basis is $3,000 per month. You guys probably uh, look at all those numbers and probably 
thinking in your mind that is crazy to own a video game store and it costs that much and i can tell you yes it does cost that much um let's let's just total it up looks like our grand total is going to be nineteen thousand two hundred forty five dollar and seventy one cents so yes owning and operating a a mom, a mom and pops video game store costs nineteen thousand two hundred forty five and seventy one okay now i'm not saying that's for everyone this is for my store that's how much it costs based on what uh, i just broke down the uh, individual um uh, expenses so yeah nineteen thousand dollar so um that's quite a bit uh, you know what i mean and just put that into a a yearly uh that's two hundred two hundred thirty thousand nine hundred forty eight dollar and fifty two cents that's two hundred thirty thousand dollar per year in expense so you can imagine um just uh, you know I, know I know you guys are a lot of collectors just imagine selling a whole bunch of earthbound okay earthbound cart costs about what um you know now four to five hundred bucks so how many earthbound is it per month you know, you got to sell to to, to, to to just reach your expense of 19245 is a lot. So uh, that's just a little perspective for you. Now, guys. if you look at the expense, you notice that this is for two full staff. Uh, I myself don't take anything home when it comes to a W-2. I don't make any money. I don't take any money out of that sales that comes in. Um, it, it is strictly for me is because I enjoy doing it. That's the reason why I opened this business and I still kept it and I still keep it running because I enjoyed it. It's my hobby. It's what I like to do. I like to be there all day long if I can. Uh, but like, but like it is, I'm not making any money. I'm not taking anything home. Uh, so therefore, to me, it's just a hobby. I love doing it. I've been collecting for over 15 years. Uh, I've been just basically hustling, flipping. Uh, reselling uh, most of the stuff in my collection here are pretty much free and more so uh, people ask me is it worth it though is it worth it for them to open a game store would they make enough to survive would they make you know good amount of money well yes just based on mine you know what I mean uh, if for staffing the staffing portion is 5600 around there well, if you work in the business, um, you know, yourself and you, you're the, you're the employee in your own business. Yes. Basically you can eliminate that cost and then you get that 5,600 per month. So therefore, yes, you can, you can make up to 60 to $80,000, uh, income, uh, instead of working for somebody else, you know, this is yourself. You own all this inventory. You can collect and bill your your collection at the same time making money enjoy what you're doing and making six to eighty thousand um, dollars a year so yes i would say yes it, it, you do make money i hope i you know i'm not scaring you yet with all this expense of having a video game store and congrats for staying this long and listening to listening to me uh, so uh, let me tell you why i do it. okay so now that you know you got all the numbers um i just want to show you guys why i um i collect you know the main reason why um let me just so show right you at the back here as you can see this we got in a trading in the store one of those mountain dew original xbox three um the original xbox limited edition so this you know something like this this is the reason why i have a video game store so i can collect cool stuff like that i have all this master box or all brand new seal video games some n64 super nintendo everything in there that you can can name of and then here we also have the debug kit for the original xbox whole bunch of sega saturn um let's just go through this real quick but here yeah oh you got to show you guys this so this right here came in came in right here this is actually a prototype for the flight simulator on the nes so see like this this is why i do what i do and continue having that video game store where i can collect without going out there with everybody out chasing you know value village goodwill and all that stuff so all this right here you know just throughout the time just collecting people bringing it in i don't have to go out there and chase it so yeah quite a bit of things in here i know it's kind of messy i just recently um you know moved to a to a bigger house so therefore uh my collection is all over the place right now but definitely uh it'll be nicer and here's another thing i got a trade in 
This is actually a few months ago, you know, a prototype Xbox 360. Someone found at Goodwill and they still kept the bag. So you see that? That right there, we got Stunt Racer, complete in box. All this right here. Um, here you go. Scan it through real quick here. All the not for resale stuff. Man, I have stuff everywhere. Look at all this. You got some sealed Zelda games, uh, GBA. We got some Virtual Boy. So yeah, it's never ending uh, of collecting for me, but that's something that I enjoy. And this is the reason why I started this video game store. Um, so then I can be able to collect without, you know, going crazy out there, um, hustling, because uh, I just don't have the time anymore, you know? As you can see some here. So all these right here, especially the one that are brand new graded. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and beneficial to you. Uh, for anyone out there who have question about, you know, um, or in the process of opening a video game or a store or what's the cost, the breakdown, there you go. I think that's the most transparent, uh, you know, like uh, breakdown you'll ever get on YouTube here. So I hope you enjoy. If you like the content, please subscribe, give me a like, and then uh, visit my store sometime. You know, we have online store, uh, online website. But stop in my store if you ever have the chance. If you see me, say hi. And you can ask me whatever you want about this video, the expense, the breakdown. I'm an open book. I'm very transparent. Uh, and I'm, uh, I hope to see you guys at my store. Have a great day.